How we doing, everybody? We are here to talk about my pull list for the week. So excited about some, not excited about some others. Uh, some other ones are ending. So let's start with uh, Amazing Spider-Man, number 26, the one that everybody's talking about. It, uh, it I don't usually collect Spider-Man. But this one here uh, has the death of Captain uh, or Miss Marvel uh, for no reason whatsoever why she's in this book. And so I figured I'd pick it up just to see what everybody's talking about. And, uh, and that's, you know, they're going to see a spike of sales and then it's going to go back down. But I'll, uh, I'll do that in my review. Um, I think it's Zeb Wells that's doing this one or, uh, oh, Jeb McKay. Jen McKay is doing this one, and it's Doctor Strange. I really liked his uh, Strange one, where Clea uh, took over while he was dead. This one, it's not been so good so far. Uh, expected something more, so let's see how we do with this one. We got uh, Dormammu's face on Doctor Strange's body. Strange, no pun intended. And then we have the end of Jason Aaron's run with the Punisher where he had supernatural powers, took over a group called The Fist, which was associated with The Hand, and he uh, was recently uh, hunted by uh, the Avengers, and his wife was brought back to life, which is why he took this on. Um, I like parts of it. I don't like other parts. I'm not as ecstatic uh, as everybody thinks is the best thing that anybody's ever written, uh, and I uh, beg to differ with that um, because... Um, I have this one signed, and uh, this is probably the best Punisher there ever has been. And uh, this is by Mike Zek, and I don't agree that this one deconstructs the Punisher. So, meaning that it goes back and changes his origin, changes the person he was. You know, he's a shitty father, he's coming back, uh, you know, from uh, Vietnam originally, but he's just a shitty person in general and he was a shitty kid and you know i don't i don't buy any of that so that's how it was but uh and again i don't collect any spider-man books but yet i'm this is one of my favorite books right now uh this is venom lethal protector 2 uh where venom is now uh part of silver sables group uh the last few issues have been really good so excited about that one uh, venom lethal protector if you haven't been picking that up uh really really suggest that. Notice that there's no DC whatsoever. I've picked up zero DC books this week, this week which is really strange. Um, but uh, here's my other one. This is my last Marvel one, and that's Avengers Beyond. Uh, this is a limited series, um, and the Black Order is in this, which is Thanos' guys. Um, but uh, I like Greg Land a lot, so I like the... I know a lot of people don't like him, but I, I like his art a lot. And then I got a couple of uh, three independent books, starting with this one. Hunt, Kill, Repeat, and this one uh, is about Greek mythology. Uh, it's almost like a Kill Bill. So uh, Athena um, is pregnant, and you know they kill her baby, and you know now she's out for revenge on the gods and all that good stuff. Um, then we got Alien, and now 20th Century Fox is now putting their logo on it, where they never have before. Uh, this is like the third or fourth rendition now of uh, of Alien. Because uh, I do limited, and then they uh, then they end it and they restart it. So it's you know they got to kill off everybody and start over again. <laughs> and this is my last one for the week. Uh, this is uh, going back in time here. Uh, this is a few months ago from uh, Magic Order uh, by Mark Millar. I have not uh, gotten the other three volumes. This is volume four. Uh, this is a variant cover, and. Um, yeah, the next one's coming out. I thought I ended it for, but then I just found out that they're going to be continuing it. Uh, so that's what uh, that's all my pull list for this week. And uh, so stay tuned for my reviews on all of these books uh, in the upcoming week. Uh, excited again, excited to read some of them. Excited, not excited to read some of the others, especially the Spider-Man one that everybody said was just garbage. Anyway, I will let you guys know. And remember that uh, we're on the last uh, 12 days or so with Destiny Aurora. We just locked, uh, unlocked our first stretch goal. I'm um, hoping we unlock some more. So go to Destiny Aurora on Kickstarter. Kickstarter.com, Destiny Aurora. It'll pop up. Uh, it's an audiobook and graphic novel. And excited for everybody to see that stuff. All right, bye-bye.